because there are so many choices of data sets to load into Ursa Viewer, you can relatively easily find yourself in a situation where you have many, many image frames loaded into your viewer, and even some that are missing. One of the newest features of Ursa Viewer is this icon right here. If you click on it, you get a Firefly table that lists all of the images you have loaded. A Firefly table has all the same features of all tables within the tools that have this look and feel. So you can sort and filter and manipulate this list of images. Let's say you only want to retain the ones for which you successfully found an image. You can ask it to, to filter on just the successes and then only the successes are left in the table and in the array of images in the viewer. Let's say that you're interested in studying the properties of an object as a function of wavelength. If you click on the wavelength column, it sorts in order of wavelength, and then the images are also ordered in the order of wavelength. Another way to filter is to use the column here on the left. You use the tick box at the top to select all the images, but let's say that you want to get rid of the ones that did not succeed. You unclick the ones that say fail, leaving just the ones that say success, and then filter. And there again, you've omitted the images that failed. For additional information about these images, you can click on the Help button to be brought to a place where you can get more information on the origin of the survey, the wavelengths covered, when the data were taken, and how. There's also a link to the website associated with that data set.